Hi my fragrance friends, welcome back to the channel, thank you so much for being here, I always appreciate you. So today we're going to do something just a little bit different. I was thinking of how to connect belly dance and fragrance, and you're thinking, what? Dancing and fragrance? Are you nuts? How are they connected? Well, let me explain it to you. So I was thinking, belly dance is an art of movement. It is the art of beauty. And then it got me thinking, so is fragrance. Fragrance actually is not that different than belly dancing. Um, you know, fragrance is an art of movement, right? We're using the aroma of our fragrance to move, right? We're using it to move. We're using it to sway, right? We're using it to convey beauty without words, right? It's saying a story. It's conveying something about our personality. It is silent seduction as well, because belly dance is movement of the body, right? It's a form of seduction, and so is fragrance. Fragrance needs no words to move, right? And sway across a room, right? to everybody around you to say something about you or s without saying anything at all. Not everything, <laughs> not everything in this world needs wor words, especially seduction in terms of mystery, right? Um, and you know, whether you're single or whether you're in a committed relationship, hear me on this one. The art of seduction never ends. It never ends. And I want us to think of a seduction not in like an explicit way um, like the, the way media portrays it um, in a very provocative way not at all in my opinion I think education not necessarily books but just being able to hold a conversation a very interesting conversation is a form of seduction right your fragrance is a form of seduction how you speak is a form of seduction right to bring people closer to you right and it's the height of femininity. That's the beauty of being a woman. We don't always need to use our words to convey what we need to, right? So without further ado, I'm just gonna choose, I chose just a couple of fragrances here that are very um, strong, that are exotic in my opinion, that do convey a message. And you can be on one end of a room and it will just dance, right? It'll just dance, it'll sway and convey without words, right? everything that you need to say. Okay, so without any further ado, we're just gonna hop right in. So the first one I have here is from Latefa. It's called Mohra. And I haven't shown it in my Middle Eastern perfume collection yet. It's gonna be in my third part. This was gonna be one of the last ones I showed. And this is a beautiful, of course, it's a rose fragrance, right? But it is stunning. It is deep, it's sensual. It's exotic and you need to bring the energy with this one. This is mysterious. There's rose in here. There's, oof. oh my goodness. There's labdomen in here. There is cedarwood. Wow, this is one of the most underrated Latefa perfumes out there. And if you love deep, dark rose scents, there's no, there's no oud in here. There's no oud. There is cedarwood. There is, um, like wood, but it's it's not oud. Um, wow, I just, sorry, it just took me to another place. This is deep, dark seduction in a bottle. This is belly dance, right? Right in a bottle. And yes, this is Middle Eastern, uh, but it doesn't have oud, so I feel like this would be for people who want something really strong, who love rose scents, who love wood scents, um, who appreciate their dark femininity. I definitely think this would be it for you. This one will literally just sway and move and waft across the room and say everything you need to say without words. And again, this is Mohra by Latefa. And just look at that bottle. I mean, if that doesn't just say exotic, I don't know what does. Okay, moving right along. I did show this one in my Middle Eastern collection. This one is, um, I'm forgetting names, Morhaf by Rasasi. And then this one is another rose perfume. This one's more on the sweeter side, right? So this one has raspberry, rose. This one has oud in it as well. But for me, this is still a cleaner, woody kind of oud. So if you want 
to try to maybe step your toes into the world of Aoud. I think this is a very good place to start. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 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 It is sweet. That raspberry brings a fruitiness to the rose. And that Aoud is a very clean. There's this slight soapiness that kind of keeps it clean. And it's just deep. It's exotic. And this will carry across a room, right? This one will sway, right? This one will sway and move across a room. And this is affordable. Oh, both of these are both affordable. This is under, I think, $80. This one is under $60, I believe, the last time I checked it. Uh, so um, that one's Mohra by Latefa. This is by Rassasi. And even the bottle is just beautiful, right? So this is a, this is a Rose Aoud one, but there is fruit in here. The raspberry really adds this sweetness and this one has the, the projection to dance across the room. The aroma will be moving and swaying and saying what you cannot say. So again, this is Morhaf by Rassasi. The next one is not a Middle Eastern perfume. Uh, this is by Montal. It is a French brand. But nobody conv convinced me that Perrier Montel does not have some adverb in him. I'm pretty sure he th he's mixed. I, I can bet my bottom do dollar on it. And even though it is a French brand, a lot of his perfumes le lean Middle Eastern, but this one doesn't. This one is Central Instinct. So even though this one doesn't lean Middle Eastern, um, there are a couple here that are not Middle Eastern, but it this one is such... It, it, this is the namesake. This is Central Instinct. This one has coffee. There's, don't be scared by this note, there's oak moss in here. Um, there's rose in here as well, and it's a very sweet perfume. Oh my goodness. Wow. Immediately you get hit by that sweetness, and it is just for a minute resembling the sweetness in Baccarat Rouge 540, so BR 540, that sweetness that you get. Um, also, BR40 has oak moss in it as well, but this to me is nothing alike. Nothing alike. They are definitely in the same family, but this actually I prefer, I can't believe I'm saying this, I, I cannot actually believe I'm saying this, but I actually prefer Central Instinct by Montal to Baccarat Rouge 540, and I think it's that coffee note, and I think it's that rose note that kind of just add something different to it for me, and I think that um, this that that anosmic thing that kind of happens with BR five forty, I don't I don't experience it with this. And this one is exactly the name, right? That sweetness in that oak moss gives it almost like an animalic edge. Um, um, not animalic as in like what t typically you think of like the jasmine animalic, animalic in like in, in the feeling, not the smell. Um, and that sweetness and that earth just kind of blend so well together. And there's like, I believe a woody note in here. It, this is just perfect. And this is unisex. This is easy for men and for women. And this one will be swaying. <laughs> this one will be swaying and dancing across a room. So Montal, uh, Central Instinct, highly, 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 highly recommend. Now the next one. One of the most underrated perfume. I don't actually think I've ever heard anybody that I've listened to rave about this perfume. It's by Victoria's Secret. Please don't roll your eyes. Listen to me. Listen to me. Okay? Don't knock it until you've tried it and seen the reactions. This is Very Sexy Night by Victoria's Secret. This is not Very Sexy, the one in the red bottle. This is the flanker. And Very Sexy is nice, but... Uh, it just it's okay right it's okay been there done it it's all right this one has plum this one has apple this one has wood and this one drives men and women crazy anybody that smells this gets hypnotized by this hypnotized literally very sexy and i have not heard anybody rave about this this is one of my all-time scents one of my all-time scents, one of my highest complimented scents. Yes, one of my highest complimented scents is a Victoria's Secret perfume and a flank of perfume at that. Um, and after smelling it on me, somebody actually made it their signature scent, which they still wear today. Very sexy night. And that wood and that apple, 
and that plum, so the plum gives it that sweetness, the apple gives it that crispness and also lends that sweetness and the wood just kind of makes it deep and dark and sexy and I still think you can get away with this in the morning. It carries well from the morning to the night in my opinion, right? Just reapply it at night. Um, it's just this will convey a message without words. You want to convey a message without words? Very sexy night by Victoria's Secret. You're welcome in it. You're welcome. Just that's all I'm gonna say. Now the next one's more for the brave hearts. This one definitely is for more of the brave hearts. This is heavier. This is definitely way more exotic. Like these two are exotic, but I feel like you can still be beginner level and get with these. <clears throat> these you need to be a little bit more on the advanced side. So the first one um, we have Sharaf Haoud Es Sweat. This is a really strong beast perfume. There is rose in here. There is leather in here. Don't be scared by the leather. No, please don't. Oh my god. I just, I'm sorry, I just kind of lost myself for a moment there. And the oud in here is just done so well. It's just so well blended. I think the leather and the rose and I don't even remember all the notes. But if you know what Bahur is, and it's in incense, but it's like a Middle Eastern incense. So it's not like the incense like in America, like the little sticks that you buy in Walgreens. No, not at all. This smells so similar to Bahur for me. It smells like everybody around, well not everybody, but a lot of people around me. And this will carry a cross room. This will convey a message for you without words. At a distance, you know? So... Shagaf Aoud Eswed for the Brave of Heart, a beautiful rose Aoud, beast of a dancer. This one will dance across a room and mesmerize people. Okay? And the last one, I again, it's more for their advanced, and I don't think I've heard anybody, a fragrance reviewer, talk about this. This is another Montal. This is Aoud Queen Roses. And before you get scared, this is a very clean oud. There's hibiscus in here. There is leather. I know this sounds a little scary, but, you know, again, this is more for the advanced. Um, but this is so exotic. This is so exotic. This is so strong. Wow. And that hibiscus adds this sweetness to the oud. And there's rose of here, of course. So there's rose, there's leather, there's hibiscus. And that hibiscus adds that sweetness and a clean soapiness to the oud. So I think that's what kind of, kind of, I don't know, it just kind of balances it out. And I feel like, in just in my opinion, I feel like this would be something good for oud collectors. And I don't hear anybody rave about this and I don't understand why. And again, the name is Oud Queen Roses. The hibiscus really adds that sweet soapiness to the Oud and that rose. And I personally um, have not smelled rose and hibiscus together. Um, but again, I'm sure it's just my lack of, um, you know, maybe there's niche perfumes out there I simply haven't smelled. But the hibiscus and the rose in here with the Oud is exotic. This is a dancer in a bottle. Right? This, of course, for the brave part. So the Shakafa with the sweat and the uh, Montel Old Queen Roses. The Old Queen Roses is definitely for more the brave of heart for you really want to travel that distance and want to send a message. You have Old Queen Roses. Highly recommend for sweet, clean Oud with beautiful rose and leather. It's just stunning. Stunning. You're going to leave a scent memory with this, I promise you. Okay, so those are for the um, perfumes. And for my ladies who are on a budget, um, all of these are definitely under $100. But for those who maybe are not into perfumes or not able to buy perfumes, I have you covered. Okay, we're just going to quickly cover two um, body mist here. So we have Into the Night by Bath and Body Works. And this one has Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose, um, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. This is not only strong like a perfume, the reason why I selected this is because of that deep, dark nature of this one, right? Because it's that patchouli that gives it that darkness, that raspberry, that gives it that sweetness. But to me, this is one of their most exotic scents. And this one will carry across a room. And then, 
if you want something even a little bit more different and a little bit more exotic, take Into the Night and layer it with Wild, uh, I'm sorry, Wicked Vanilla Woods. And in Wicked Vanilla Woods, you have vanilla, amber wood, and pink pepper. I'm not sure why these two go together, but this is really amazing on its own. It took me a while because for the first few minutes, I'm sorry, for the first 60 seconds, all I could smell was the patchouli, but after that, I started to get the sweetness from the raspberry. And for some reason, it just works really well with this. So go in with Into the Night on the bottom and top it off with Wicked Vanilla Woods. And this will smell. This is just wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is exotic right here. This is exotic. This is literally belly dance worth. This is literally belly dancer worth. This is something I can imagine a beautiful woman who is belly dancing, you know, if, oh my God, this is what she would smell like. This is what she would smell like if she had to wear a body spray. But I, I feel like it's kind of not even giving it the credit that it's due. This is perfume worthy. This is perfume worthy. If somebody smelled this on you, I promise you, nobody would think you're wearing a body mist. Put these two together. You will smell exotic. You will convey a message at a distance. Okay. You will silently seduce at a distance. Okay, so just a quick recap, we have, oopsie, we have Latafa, uh, Mohra, we have Morhaf by Rosessi, we have Central Instinct by Montal, we have, yes, a Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret, very sexy night, we have Sharaf Aoud as Aswed by Swiss Arabian, we have Aoud Queen Roses by Montal again, and two body sprays to layer together, we have Into the Night and Wicked Vanilla Woods. I hope you guys enjoyed this, something a little bit different. I just thought I'd want to share with you guys some, you know, just to kind of get us thinking how we can dance with our fragrance, right? It's a form of movement, right? It'll convey what you cannot to silently seduce. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions of your own or what you would like to see in the future or if you have any perfumes that you think that should have been on this list. And I really appreciate you taking the time to be here. And just a gentle reminder that the sweetest fragrance that we will ever wear is our behavior. And please to find somebody to thank today, even just for something small. And more importantly, take a moment to thank God. Because if you're here watching this video, that means you made it into yet another day. And even with our trials and tribulations, God is great. Thank you, my friend. Bye.